What is good gamers? It's your boy GD Taco coming at you with another Halo Infinite video. This is a video I wanted to make for a good time about since they came out with the Halo Infinite gameplay demo. I knew this video would be interesting. I'm comparing all the new guns and their animations or returning guns to the previous games. I knew this game would be would be interesting with how they did animations, but what I found surprised me a lot. Not mostly the how the guns look, but more so how the animations are for them firing and them reloading. I knew this would be interesting, but I didn't think it would be this interesting. How it'll work is I'll just take screenshots and videos of the guns from previous games and the Halo Infinite gameplay demo and put them side by side so you guys can see the difference. First off, I'm gonna be doing the battle rifle. I'm going to mostly do guns we've seen before and then switch over to the new guns that they've added. And for the new guns that they've added, we don't have footage of them from previous games, of course, because they are new guns. And so what I did for those is I just compared them to guns that they look similar to in other games and compared the animations to other games that I noticed the animations looked somewhat similar. So starting off, our first gun we are going to compare is going to be the returning battle rifle. We are going to be comparing it to the Halo 2 battle rifle that is in Halo 5 because it is the most similar version I could find. Starting off, as you can see here on the right side of the screen, we have the Halo Infinite battle rifle that they showed off in the gameplay campaign demo, like trailer, I think it was. And then on the left side, we have a screenshot I took in Forge, which is the Halo 2 Battle Rifle from Halo 5. A little bit confusing. Halo 2 Battle Rifle from Halo 5. First thing that's extremely noticeable is the Battle Rifle in Halo Infinite has more of like a matte texture. I think that's just from being unfinished. If you go back to early Halo 5 days from like the early on developers blog thing they did called the sprint where they showed off early gameplay a lot of the guns had like a really similar look i imagine before release especially after the delay it they're gonna change it and it's maybe gonna look a little bit more weathered it also yeah it looks a lot less weathered on the halo infinite version it looks like a new battle rifle which is interesting because i thought they would go for a lot more of a weathered realistic look especially with the big battle with the banished who are supposed to be like a really worn down group and you know the battle with cortana has been going on for a long time so you'd think that they'd go for more of like a weathered halo reach type style look but it doesn't it doesn't really look like from a lot of their guns that that's the direction they're taking it looked like from the environment in the gameplay demo with all the wreckage and banished that was the idea that they were trying to go along, but all the guns look really new. And especially, they've said a lot of times that they're trying to go back to Halo Combat Evolved. That they wanted to do more of, like, inspiration from that game. And you'd think, you know, a lot of those stuff would look weathered and worn down. Because that was pretty late in the war, and it was new, and gave off that sense of mystery. Like, ooh, what happened to my gun to get it all worn down? Another thing that really, really sticks out to me, one of the one of the first really things I noticed was the scope looks a lot more cartoony, a lot less realistic. It has more of like a rounded, I, I don't want to say it, but almost like a Fortnite kind of cartoony art style. The, the way that they made their environment look, they made it look like really like realistic, but a lot of the guns I thought looked like a lot more cartoony and... Maybe that's the appeal to the new kid audience that they're trying to get. and Maybe it's a good thing, maybe it's a bad thing. I, I don't really mind it. I think it is kind of a cool art style, but I could see people wanting the more photorealistic one. In terms of art style on the actual gun, one of the other major things I notice is this one has a lot more like rails, like more realistic looking gun rails that you would see in real life on guns for adding on attachments like you can see under the scope and up front they have side rails for mounting like a flashlight on the side or what other, whatever other attachment you might want to do and the firing handle looks a little bit bigger and more cartoony as well as the whole, the whole um mounting for adding the scope and the ammo reader that whole area looks a lot more scrunched together really adding to the whole cartoony look whereas on the halo 5 one 
it's a lot longer, blacker, worn, doesn't have the rails, and it looks really like like you would see a gun early on in a war, whereas this new gun is a lot more of like a modern, like tactical weapon that you would see like in a game like Siege or something, where it has like rails all over so you can add whatever whatever attachment you may want. In terms of the overall thing, we can't really see it too well. I don't know if that's just because you hold it different in Halo Infinite or if the trailer has, you know, like just a different, more zoomed in point of view. This is a screenshot directly from the gameplay trailer. I didn't like crop out the bottom or anything. That's just as far down as it went. Uh, on the ammo reader, it looks like they're also going for a little bit brighter of a look and a little bit more detail on all the little switches and turny boys you got down there overall i like how they did the battle rifle in halo infinite i could see a lot of people not liking it for it looks a little bit more cartoony it's going to be interesting to see how that it might conflict with the like banished gritty look it seems like they're trying to go for you know like the more original halo look like how they had it in halo wars 2 it'll just be interesting to see how that this art style interacts with that and how it changes before release. I'll have to make another one of these videos after release comes out comparing the trailers to the actual release. Let me know what you think of the battle rifle in the comments section. I'm curious to see what other people think of it because I kind of like it. Really took a lot more time on the battle rifle there than I thought I would but now we're getting into the assault rifle and as you can see again on the right we have the Halo Infinite. Left we have the Halo Reach version of the assault rifle because that's the only version of this assault rifle that we also see. For all these guns, I'm generally going to be putting the Halo Infinite version on the right and the Halo previous version on the left. Here you have a little bit more of a stark contrast, and I guess that makes sense. There's a lot more of a time difference between these two games. The Halo Reach assault rifle, uh, first thing you notice is, of course, it has four or less rounds because they switched the assault rifle to having 36 versus 32. And also the way you hold it is seriously different. It's a lot more upright in Halo Reach, whereas it's more from the hip in Halo Infinite. Again, the Halo Infinite one has that lot less worn and more matte texture, like cartoony, than the Halo Reach one. And it also has a lot less color, you know, that even with the ammo counter, it's a lot deeper of a blue and on the original Halo Reach one, it's a lot brighter, and the Halo Reach one has that yellow stripe and a lot more texture due to its wear and tear. I don't have an incredible amount to say about the difference between these two guns. It looks like the ammo counter is a lot more integrated in Halo Infinite than it is in Halo Reach, along with the little railing leading up to it, having a little bit more detail and you know some grooves on it. The, uh, the handle, that is the charging handle, I mean, on the Halo Reach one, it's honestly not even that noticeable, but on the Halo Infinite one, it is enormous. If I tried to fire that gun with that thing, I'd poke my eye out. That charging handle is enormous, and it looks kind of similar to the Halo 4 one, where it's just like a sharp little twig that sticks out. I don't think it really makes much sense. You know, on, a, on most real guns, you know, you don't you don't really see a huge charging handle. I have a CX-4, like a Beretta CX-4 Storm, if you've ever heard of that gun, and it has a tiny little charging handle, and it works just fine. I don't know why anyone on God's green earth would need a charging handle that's like four feet long like that. And here, just for fun, I have a side-by-side -side comparison I found on the Halo Infinite, not the official one, a like private Instagram account's uh, page. It's just like a side-by-side -side of the Halo Reach versus Halo Infinite, so you can pause the video and look at all the comparisons it in game the halo infinite one looks a lot simpler but on the side by side it looks like it's a lot more complex and a lot more like together and smooth versus the halo reach one where it looks like it's a lot more compartments you know each piece is a little bit further and it looks like you could really take it apart whereas in halo infinite they look like they really fit together i think they both look really nice i think the halo infinite one is probably the right look to go in the future it looks a lot smoother and a lot nicer if you ask me next up I included the animations and here you see them at full speed together next I'll have them slow-mo together and what I noticed a lot is the Halo Infinite one at least for the muzzle flash looked like it had a lot more like saturation and it looked a lot like more crisp around the edges of 
each shot, whereas the Halo Reach version is more of a cloud. Also in the Halo Reach version, you can see the shell casings come out a lot better, and the reloads are pretty much the same. It doesn't look like the animation really changed much over the past 10 years. I think on the Halo Reach version, it's a lot easier to see what your ammo counter actually is versus the Dark Halo Infinite version. I do like the muzzle flash and the sound of it firing a lot more in Halo Infinite. And I like how in Halo Infinite, you really do pull that charging handle back, maybe having the bigger charging handle as the call just for the look of it. Either way, it'll be interesting to see how this changes when the actual game comes out. I like the Halo Infinite one over the Halo Reach one. I think the Halo Reach one is a little bit tall and blocky. But let me know what you think about the Halo Reach one if you have a strong opinion on it down in the comments. Next up, we have the Energy Sword. And for this one, we really only have screenshots, not any actual gameplay. And on the right, as usual, you have the Halo Infinite version. And then in the top left, you have the... Halo 2 Anniversary Multiplayer version, and the bottom left is the Halo 5 version. I included the Halo 2 version because it looks like that's the look they're going for a lot more, whereas it's less of an energy sword, and it has like a lot more plasma, like hard, hard light type goo, if that makes any sense. It's more of a, more of a weapon and less of just like a pokey sword. Um, it has a lot more of the curved edges and the actual handle of it has a lot more detail than it ever has in any game i think i think the halo infinite version looks good in my mind the energy sword is a lot less of just like a halo 5 type looking like sharp guy and it's more of like an actual energy sword almost like a lightsaber so i like how they had it in halo 2 how when you turn it on it really crackled versus where in the Halo 2 Anniversary version where you had it on and it just kind of made like a sound like a like it was just kind of like an energy like a plasma type guy I don't know I really like the sword that it's like a hard weapon that is makes a fear fearful sound when you fire it up and people should actually be scared of it I hope that's kind of more of the look they're going for in Halo Infinite. Again, I think this one, just like the battle rifle and assault rifle, kind of looks a little bit more, like, saturated with color, and it looks a little bit more cartoony. Not the energy sword specifically, but if you look down in the bottom right at Chief's hand, it's interesting because none of the other guns that they've shown off looked weathered, and neither does this one, but maybe that makes a little bit more sense since it's a Covenant or Banish weapon. But his arm looks very weathered while the guns don't so that's interesting i wonder if that's going to change by release so just just something to think about this next gun i'm not going to spend an incredible amount of time because these aren't direct links between games the left one is the storm rifle and the right one is the new three round burst plasma weapon that they have and they're not actually like direct links so i don't really have much to say other than I like the look of the right one. It looks a little bit too curvy for me, but I also hate the look of the Storm Rifle. I wish they'd go more just for a plasma rifle look than either of these. I don't know why they need to do a big, long plasma-looking guy. I think the plasma also coming out of the one on the right, the Halo Infinite gun, looks a lot more plasma-y, like it would actually be hot and burn, versus whereas the Halo 5 version is just like a bright light. Uh, I like the way that they made this plasma weapon look. I think that there's going to be changes on it when Halo Infinite actually comes out, and it's going to be interesting to see how it handles because it looks like it does a three round plasma projectile, and it looks like they actually take a good amount of travel time, so it'll be interesting to see how it actually handles in game. This next weapon isn't a direct comparison. Also two separate guns, but when I actually took video of them, they are more similar than I thought they would be. For the major appearance difference is down there in the drum, the right one in Halo Infinite actually has like circles, like almost like a shotgun shell looking thing, whereas the left one just has like a brutish looking light. I think the red lights are supposed to play a lot more into the banished look of things, and it's supposed to look a lot more mechanical and like thin, like it's falling apart than the brute version that they had in Halo 3 and I mean the right one is more of like a sniper type pistol thing whereas the left one the mauler is more of a shotgun type dealio 
The right one also has tusks and you hold it a lot more upright like a pistol with no stock whereas the mauler has more of a stock and is a shotgun type looking deal. So here you can actually see them both firing and I think it's really interesting because the like action on the right one in Halo Infinite actually does come flying back similar to the mauler in Halo 3. As you can see, like on top of the mauler, it actually has, I didn't actually ever even notice that until I put it in slow-mo, but it has like an action that comes back. And the, the Halo Infinite one also has like a deal like that where it sort of comes flying back. I think their reloads are both pretty cool. I don't think they're as similar as I thought they would be for being like a similar type gun. The muzzle flash on the Halo Infinite version is more of an explosion that's sharper and again has a lot more saturation. It comes out of the entire gun if you notice, whereas on the Mauler version in Halo 3 it is just more of like a cloud that comes out of the end. Pretty similar to the Halo Reach version and the assault rifle where it's on the Halo Infinite one it's a lot sharper, crisper, and it's more of like a defined blast whereas on the older versions of these guns it's more of just a cloud i think that's an awesome look and i'm glad that they're giving the muzzle flash a lot more detail it's something you never really notice when it's bad but when it's good it does make a difference i didn't really know how long of a video this is it's already getting pretty long and we're only about halfway to two-thirds of the way done with all of the guns so i'm actually going to make this a two-part video so Next week on Friday, I'll be coming out with the second part. Once it comes out, of course, I'll put it at the end with like an end screen. So make sure to watch the second part. That's where the guns really start to get a lot more interesting. I think when you see the commando, the new commando gun that they added in Halo Infinite, you're going to be shocked with what you see. That is the most interesting gun in here by far. So make sure to come in and tune in next time for the second set of weapons. Until next time, this has been GG Taco. Peace.